Lithuanian guard Kasparas Yakuchonis is garnering top 10 buzz. This is Florence Ceiling, let's break him down. Kasparas Yakuchonis is a 6'6 offensive engine who can act as a primary initiator because of how he scores, handles, facilitates, and produces. Yakuchonis shoots a lot of threes, carves up defenses using ball screens, and stuffs the box score on offense. The 18-year-old left Barcelona this summer and is now a freshman at Illinois where he should have the platform and the touches to display his talent. Yakuchonis is aggressive and creative getting to his pull-up, which usually happens from three. The Illinois guard chains moves together and he's pretty fluid about it. Yakuchonis will regularly combine a behind the back into a step back or a side step for instance to create separation. I like that he doesn't pound the air out of the ball, although he can definitely handle longer possessions if need be. Yakuchonis for the most part makes quick, snappy moves, but he plays at his own pace and keeps his defender off balance. Last season in league play, Kasparas made about 38% of his threes, taking 6 attempts per game. That was on 114 total shots. His performances in the Adidas Next Generation tournament were weaker in terms of percentages, but the high volume from deep was still there, which is a good sign. Even now, I see Yakuchonis as a creative guard who can take on switches, isos, and ball screens. He can both organize his team and also handle some late game situations, which is very important for an NBA point guard. I've liked Yakuchonis' pull up game until now, but I have a couple of items that I'll be tracking. The first one is that I feel as though the Lithuanian guard doesn't play in the mid range that much. He takes and creates shots from three, and as we'll see, at the basket but I don't see him in those in-between areas that often. This is something which I typically want from on-ball guards, which leads to my next question, which regards to how Yakuchonis scores the ball if his three-pointer is not falling. I'll get into this more later, but broadly, the Lithuanian is a heavy on-ball player and he'll use a lot of screens and possessions. If teams feel that they can go under or sag off of Yakuchonis, his game might be affected. The signs so far have been good, sometimes he can still slow down a bit more, but his process is generally positive and he does a solid job playing out of different speeds and dribble combinations. Still, as we know, the NCAA and then the NBA are two big step ups. Getting into the paint and to the basket, Yakuchonis is a crafty and physical tough cover. He combines his dynamic handle with his herky-jerky pace and ability to get to the free throw line to constantly create advantages. Even if defenders can theoretically keep up athletically with Yakuchonis, he's constantly chaining moves together, being deceptive with how he uses screens, and positioning himself to create contact. Last season, Kasparas averaged nearly 7 free throw attempts per league game. Illinois has the 6'6 guard listed at 206 pounds, so that would mean that he's gotten stronger since then. Everything I just touched on also applies in transition, which bodes well for Yakutronis in the NBA. Looking ahead, he's going to play with a lot more space than he would have seen in Spain. In addition to the picks that he received, Barcelona also had Yakuchonis running fake handoffs sometimes, which was an interesting wrinkle. In the future, he'll be able to play in two or three guard lineups, and maybe he can even play as the three man himself, but at Barcelona, make no mistake, Yakuchonis was the primary ball handler. Yakuchonis made a little under 60% of his two pointers in league play last year, which is a very steady figure. As he's set to start his freshman year at Illinois, I'll be monitoring to see how he finishes against NCAA length. The Lithuanian guard is an okay athlete, but he's limited in terms of twitch and vertical explosion. In the half court, he's not really going to dunk. 
At times, Yakuchonis can also seem reluctant to trust his left hand, although I don't think it's to a worrying extent. How he scales up against more physical and athletic defenders though is going to be key as a guard with on-ball heavy usage. He had a few issues in ANGT play against Overtime Elite, so I might see this as a swing skill, especially if the mid-range or in-between game continues to not really be a factor. Yakuchonis is a highly adept and creative passer who has the cadence that I like from pick and roll playmakers. His creativity and dexterity mean that he can make reads and then execute them from tough angles. At 6'6", six six, with a wingspan over 6'7", Yakuchonis sees over the top really well. That's why I like him playing with a big who's an above the rim threat and can make repeated efforts setting screens, rolling hard, and catching lobs. Those things bring out the best in Yakuchonis' passing as he's capable off the live dribble and out of ball screens. The Illinois prospect is also not afraid to get fancy and he's fun to watch, which I always appreciate from any prospect who I evaluate. Last season, Yakuchonis averaged about 6 assists in 26 minutes per game. Again, he was a primary ball handler at Barcelona, so he's not just a wing who can put the ball on the floor here and there. Yakuchonis executes the right reads, and his ability to create shots at the rim and from three out of pick and rolls really pops. Those are the shots NBA teams want, and Yakuchonis is regularly generating them by reading both sides of the floor. From there, Yakuchonis can make flashy and accurate deliveries, although the latter area can still be streaky. For instance, it's no surprise to see him mix dribble moves together to create an advantage and then fire a skip pass to now create a 3. Last season, we can round up to 6 assists per 4 turnovers, so I think something similar is possible in college, plus we have to keep in mind that Kasparas will play more in transition where the same ideas exist. I will want to see Yakuchonis cut down on turnovers though. He's a high volume ball handler to be fair, but I think his accuracy and discipline need to be more regular if he's going to be a primary initiator. Yakuchonis can be more careful with his passing and he can get better at not predetermining his reads sometimes. In other words, taking what the defense gives him rather than going in having decided already what he's going to do. Like I've been saying, Yakuchonis' usage on the ball has been high so far, so I'm also curious to see how his game would adjust if an NBA team asks him to be more of a secondary or tertiary guard. In that case, I could see him as a Bogdan Bogdanovich type who can toggle between the front court and three man, but then Yakuchonis would be much more of a spark plug than an organizer. So far, he's not been much of an off-ball decision maker, as for the most part, he won't even spot up or catch and shoot. Yakuchonis should be able to do that, but right now it's been on low volume, and generally he has a much better rhythm on the ball. Comparing him to other European prospects like Yegor Demin or Nolan Gauhe, I think Yakuchonis has a little bit less off-ball versatility, which is also why I'm a little bit lower on him. Kasparas Yakuchonis is a much more limited playmaker on defense. He moves well going forward when he's attacking the basket, but he's less effective going sideways and backwards. Yakuchonis does not get very low on D, and his twitch and first step are slow. He also doesn't compete very hard to contain dribble penetration, so I'm not sure yet who he guards in the NBA. He's not fast-footed enough for many guards, and he's not athletic or strong enough for wings, at least in the short term. Even before that, I'm curious to see how Yakuchonis will hold up at Illinois, but I'm not sure that he'll be tested super hard. I expect Kylan Boswell to pick up the toughest backcourt assignments. Of course, I'd like to see Yakuchonis pick up his motor on defense, but he hasn't really shown himself to be that type of guard. He's still more of a one-way playmaker, which again is why I slightly prefer Yegor Demin to him. It is true though that Yakuchonis has nice positional size for a guard, and he can be disruptive when he uses that and stays alert. 
the former Barcelona prospect, reads the game well, so he should have the means, at least off the ball, to make some plays on defense if he remains engaged. The Lithuanian guard's athleticism is more limited on this side of the ball, that is for sure, but he still moves okay, he's not a total stiff. Yakutronis can get steals, but not really stops, if that makes sense.